Central Hudson is an energy delivery company. We own, operate, and maintain the network of wires and pipes that transport electricity and natural gas to homes and businesses in our service territory. Our electric network is expansive. It spans hundreds of miles of transmission and distribution lines, thousands of utility poles, and more than 80 substations. Filling out this system is an array of switching, monitoring, communications, and protective equipment that ensure the grid's safe, efficient, and reliable performance. Central Hudson's network is designed, maintained, and operated by professionals representing departments across the company. Broadly speaking, the electric delivery system can be broken down into three parts, generation, transmission, and distribution. As of 2001, Central Hudson has not owned or operated any large-scale electricity generating facilities. But to understand the system as a whole, it's useful to have a basic knowledge of where electricity, the flow of electrons, comes from. Power plants convert different forms of energy into electricity. In New York, that energy can come from the combustion of natural gas, the splitting of uranium atoms in a nuclear reactor, the movement of wind or water, or it can be radiated by the sun. The electricity produced by utility-scale generation is three-phase AC power. AC, or alternating current, is the oscillating, or back-and-forth, movement of electrons on a wire. This is distinct from DC, or direct current, in which electrons flow in a single direction. Three-phase means that this back-and-forth flow of electrons occurs along three different lines, or conductors. While typical residential and commercial buildings can be powered without interruption by a single phase, larger industrial and commercial customers require the more consistent high voltage delivered by a three-phase system. With alternating current, it's easier to increase, step up, and decrease, step down, voltage between where it is generated and where it is consumed. This enables the system to carry large amounts of power over long distances more efficiently. This is exactly what happens with electric transmission. From the generator, high voltage electricity is transported over long distances throughout the service territory by transmission lines. Above ground transmission infrastructure is easy to identify. Transmission structures are taller than what you see on your average residential street and usually carry several sets of conductors spaced far apart. Except for a few industrial customers, Transmission line voltage is much too high to deliver power to the end user. Before electricity can be safely delivered on the more localized distribution system, it needs to be stepped down to a lower voltage. Substations are important junctions in the system, where electrical voltage is increased to efficiently travel long distances, as we showed earlier, or decreased to serve customers at an appropriate voltage. The stepping up or stepping down of voltage is performed by equipment called transformers. The substations also contain equipment for switching and diverting power, as well as monitoring and protecting infrastructure. This equipment enables the grid to interrupt and reroute the flow of electrical current as needed, ensuring continuous service for the greatest number of customers, and protecting downstream infrastructure in the event of any equipment failure or system interruption. After being stepped down in substations, Electricity travels at lower voltages that can be safely distributed around our homes and businesses. The three phases of local AC distribution travel through the feeder lines that you may see running along main roads. From there, single phase lines, or taps, run down side streets. On a utility pole, you may see several different sets of wires mounted at different heights. Typically, the electric lines are at the top. The lowest wires are telephone wires, and the wires that run in between are cable wires. Any utility pole that carries electric wires belongs to Central Hudson. Smaller transformers situated on utility poles or in enclosures on the ground step down voltage one more time before the electricity travels through service lines to the customer. Each customer has a watt-hour meter that measures the electrical energy the customer consumes. The meters are read by the company at regular intervals in order to generate the customer's bill. Electricity will play a larger role than ever before in powering our lives. Federal and state governments are calling for consumers to move away from hydrocarbon fuels and rely more on electricity. This increases demand on the electric network. But at the same time, 
there's pressure to move away from the abundant and reliable resources that generate electricity, resources like natural gas and nuclear energy. Today, renewable energy alone cannot replace these resources. Our adoption of solar and wind is increasing, but these resources are not always available, and they present new challenges for managing electricity demand. To address these challenges, intelligent devices and communications equipment are being installed throughout the electric system. More transmission capacity must also be built to allow electricity from renewable energy sources to flow to areas that consume the most power. And as we rely more on electricity for energy, storm hardening measures that protect electric infrastructure from extreme weather become more important than ever. <music>